Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to talk about setting up the throttle endpoint with a knob on your transmitter. <laughs> to his runners. Thankfully he was like scuffing his feet and I could hear him. <laughs> All right, so hope you enjoyed that. Now let's go back to the house and uh, show you guys how to uh, set up this uh, throttle endpoint there and um, you guys can uh, can do that. My flying definitely was not the best but I can definitely manage this thing now um, here much better than I could when I had like full range of the throttle allows me a lot more control and I, I don't screw up nearly as much because when you get nervous you tend to like overcompensate and you kind of tend to uh, screw things up so for me that's what works works well and I think the racers kind of do that too um, also allows you to have you know if you're flying like on a tighter course or whatever you don't really need full throttle you never really have a chance to get to full throttle or you know whatever there's a variety of reasons why you might want to have a um, a different throttle endpoint than 100%. And there's a lot of ways that you can do it. Like you can do it in beta flight. You can do it a lot of ways on the transmitter. I'm going to show you one that gives you a lot of flexibility. Um, and I'm going to explain how you can adjust what the the top end is. Like you can you can adjust what that value is, and then um, like what your bottom value is, what your top value is. You know where where you want those to be. So, anyways, let's go back to the house, and I'll show you guys how to do that. Okay, so we're back at the house. I'm going to walk you through setting up a um, throttle endpoint that is fixed, as well as setting up a variable throttle endpoint. So by default, of course, your throttle goes from negative 100 to 100, and we want to change that. We want to set our max to be maybe 15% less, so about 85%. So we're going to go in and we're going to edit this, and we're going to change that so that we have basically an 85% of our throttle. So we come in here and we choose Edit. There's two values that we need to change. We need to change weight and offset. 
you can think of weight kind of like the percentage and then offset is an adjustment to that because what's going to happen with weight is weight is going to change both ends by whatever your percentage is. So if I said I wanted to reduce the uh, my throttle by 15%, that would mean I want it to be you know 85% of it at max, right? So the problem is if I set the the weight to 85, it's actually 85% negative and 85% positive. So I'm really not getting to zero throttle and I'm actually going past 85% on the top end. Because if you think about it, you have 200 points there and not just 85 points. So it's really more like 70. So what we, but you, if you change to 70, then it's, it's even worse. So think of it as your percentage, right? So first we come in here, we're going to change this percentage down to 85 and I'll show you what I mean here when I do this. All right. So I changed it to 85 and we look at a little graph here. Look where I'm, I'm at negative 85 and see my throttle is all the way down. Let me show you this here. See, it's all the way down. Um, but I'm at negative 85. If I go all the way up, that's at positive 85. See, I'm all the way up. Kind of one elapsed. Uh, positive 85, right? So we got we got to tweak that. So that's where offset comes in. So offset, we want the value here to be negative 100, and then we want the top end to be 85% out of 200 points, which is 70, right? A positive 70. So we come down here to um, our offset. We're going to change it and we want to move this number. I've got my throttle all the way at the bottom here. We want to move it down until we get to a negative 100. So that'll be negative 15 right there. Now see now we're at negative 100 and top we're at 70. And if you figure that out, that's 170 out of 200. And if you do the math, that's 85%. So that's basically all there is to it if you want to set it and you have a very fixed value. That's nice and simple, easy enough to do. But what if you want to change it so that you have a variable um, percentage there? So to do that it takes a little bit more effort, a little bit trickier, a little more work. So I want to take you over to one that I've already got set up and can you walk you through the steps um, on what you need to do and how you can adjust it so that it can be whatever values that you actually want. The way that you get to this here is, so we're going to go in and we're going to page through this till we get to our global variables. So first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create two global variables. So normally here you see GV1, GV2. And so what I did was I went in and renamed them to TW and TO. That's for throttle weight and throttle offset. Now, technically you don't need to rename them if you don't want to. But I did just so that I would know what these things are for. So in order to do that, you basically come here and you choose edit. And then you just change the name to be whatever you want. And there's, that's all you have to do on that. So I did that for the first two, two values there. So that's the first thing that you want to do. Now the next thing that you want to do, so on your inputs, you want to go down and you want to create two new inputs. And this is where the values that we just talked about a minute ago come into play. We're going to create two um, two inputs that tie to, in this case, S1, which on my Tyrannus is this little knob right here, All right? So we're going to come in here, we're going to edit this. And basically what we are going to do is we want to, we want to create one that's going to be for the weight, and then we want to create one that is for the offset. We want those values to kind of correspond. They're both going to be tied to the same, same knob, right? So, um, in my case, I want to have my throttle to go from 50% um, at the minimum for a max value to 100%. That's what this, this knob here is going to do. So, if I turn this knob here all the way down there, then that would mean when I push throttle all the way up, that's 50%. And if I turn this knob all the way to the right and I push throttle all the way up, that's 100%. And if I'm in the middle, that's basically 75%. So when I'm up here, that's 75% of my throttle. That's kind of the way that I've got mine set up right now. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm going to create um, two values. One is kind of your, your percentage, and then the other is going to be the offset to kind of adjust that. 
One kind of multiplies it, one kind of adds it. Um, I get this thing out of the way there. Sorry about that. So as you can see here on this curve, when I'm turn, I turn my knob all the way to the left, so it's at the minimum, it's at 50. And if I push it all the way to the right, it's at 100. So my values for this is basically 50 to 100, right, for my weight. Does that make sense? So if I was to set that, um, I can set my weight to anywhere from 50 to 100, right? At 100, it's normal. If it's at 50, it's basically giving me a value of negative 50 to positive 50, right? So then we got to, we got to modify that to, um, to adjust so that we're basically at a negative 100 to wherever we need to be. That's where all going to come in. So that's how these values here work. I know this is a little confusing here, um, but it's not, it's really not that bad. So basically I want to come down here and I want to set my weight so that I can get these values, right? So if I set the weight to 25, that means the curve is going to go from negative 25 to positive 25. And then if I set the offset to 75, which I did here, that means that the value is actually going to go from 50 to 100. Negative 25 plus 75 is 50. And then um, positive 25 plus 75 is 100. So that's where your, your range comes in. So that's our weight. So our weight now is, is 50 to 100, basically. All right, 50 all the way to 100, depending on how I turn it. All right? So that is... is uh, is our first input. So we want to create one of those, tie that to whichever knob you want. In my case, it's S1. Then the other thing that we got to do is we got to do the same thing for offset. So I'm going to run here to offset. And we want offset to be tied to the same source. And this is going to create our offset to be whatever value that we want. All right. So if you see this now, I have it with a weight of 25 and offset of negative 25. And remember, a weight of 25 means that it's going to give you values negative 25 to positive 25. And then the offset of negative 25 means it's going to actually be a value of negative 50. So it's negative 25 minus 25 is negative 50 to 25 minus 25, which is 0. So negative 50 all the way to the left. And I go all the way to the right, I get 0. Right? So that's the two values I want to get there. Or the values I want to get that range there on this knob now for offset. So with those two created, what we now have is we have a weight value that goes anywhere from 50 to 100. And then at this on the same scale, we have an offset that goes from uh, negative 50 to zero, right? That That's how you do it if you want to have like a range on your knob to be, your max throttle to be 50% all the way up to 100%. Now, if you wanted to have values that were different than uh, a minimum of 50% and a maximum of 100%, then you would tweak your offset and you would tweak your weight so that you get those values. Okay, so that gets our two inputs, but how do we assign this to our throttle? So now what we want to do is we want to go over to our, um, our mixer. So we go over to page and we've got our mixer here. And what we're going to do is we're going to edit this. And basically what we want to do is we want to set weight to our, our GV1 value. In my case, I call that TW. And we want to set our offset to our GV2. In my case, I call that TO. And that's basically all there is to it. That's all you got to do is set those two values. And then basically that's going to take those two values on that um, that knob and it's going to um, to set those right the only problem is we don't have um, throttle weight and throttle offset assigning values um, to those global variables yet we've got to go go set those up we defined them and we defined our two knobs but we haven't linked those right so before we can do this We've got to go over to our special functions, right? And so what I did here with my special functions is I've got them tied onto a switch also so that I can turn this on or off. You don't have to do that. You can just set, you don't have to set it to a switch. You can just set it to on if you want. But I set it on a switch. Um, and so basically when my switch is up, 
then it's on. And if I flip my switch back, it's off. And basically what I do when it's off is I just set GV1 to 100, which is the default weight, and GV2, which is my offset, the default value of zero. That's all I do whenever it's off. And then when it's on, I adjust GV1 to um, that little knob input, ITW, that's, that's what I call it. And then my uh, GV2, I set that to the, the other input um, that I called ITO, right? That's all back here. So let's go back here and show you that again, just so you can remember. Got the wrong way. One more, right? So I called those two, those two values down there, ITW and ITO. That's my weight input throttle weight and my input throttle out throttle offset, right? So those are being set on my special functions. And then I've got them tied to a switch so that I can turn it off or by default it's on. That's how that works. And then once you've got those set up, you go back to your mixer, edit your throttle, and then you plug in those, those two values there, TW and TO, for your global variables. And you can do it before you set that, those, uh, those special functions up, it doesn't matter. But you have to set those special functions up to get it to work. And that is basically all there is to it. So now let me show you how this works here. So right now I've got, I've got my knob turned all the way to the left. See that? That means my throttle at most is going to be 50%. So let me flip through these here so you can see this. All right, so throttle is channel channel one there. So see it's at negative 100. And as I go up, I'm at full throttle now, but my value is zero, so that's 50%, right? Now, if I adjust this knob, you'll see this, you'll see this move. I'm still at full throttle. And as I turn my knob to the right, you can see it's going up. I'm I'm at middle there now, so it's like 51%. I need to probably um, recalibrate these knobs a little bit, but that's all right. It's close enough. And then as I go on up, I can turn it all the way up to basically 100% there. And so full throttle is 100. See that? And you can dial it back. That's about where I like it at right there. So I'm about 75% or so close enough to it. Anyways, that's all there is to that and you are, are good to go, set up and ready to rock and roll with a um, variable endpoint throttle, which can be very handy. Um, you know, for some of you guys who thumb and stuff, you could even set up on one of these right here, and you could actually tweak your endpoint, your, your throttle endpoint while you're flying. That would be interesting. I don't know how useful that would be, but you could do that <laughs> if you wanted. So hopefully you guys found this um, helpful. Hopefully I didn't ramble on too much. I got the basic information for how to do this from uh, Oscar Liang. Liang, I'm not sure how you pronounce his last name. Anyways, I'll have a link to that down in the description, so you can go read. And he gives you like like three or four different ways that you can uh, you can do this. Um, I took one of the ways that he did, tweaked it just slightly, and that's the way that I went with it because it made the most sense to me. It was easiest for me to to understand. So hopefully you find this helpful. And you know, if you did, give him a big thumbs up, give me a like, let me know. If you got any more questions, leave those in the comments. I'll try to clarify it and uh, try to explain this um, a little better, maybe. Hopefully it was helpful. Um, you guys have a great day, and I will see you guys in the next video.